Peter says to Jesus, everyone is looking for you. Jesus' popularity could not be greater. Everyone wants to be near him. Everyone wants to hear him. Everyone wants to touch him. But Jesus will not let the popularity of the crowd, the praise of the crowd, distract him from his mission. He knows that he has been sent for a very specific purpose. And so he says, let us go to the nearby villages that I may preach the gospel there because it was for this purpose that I came. And so Jesus does not come for his own sake. The Father has sent him into the world with a mission, and so he ignores the praise of the people, and he does what the Father sent him to do. In today's second reading, something similar happens. St. Paul tells us, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason to boast because an obligation has been laid upon me. Like Jesus, St. Paul has a deep sense of mission. He does not preach for personal gain. He knows that he has been sent to proclaim the gospel. He's under an obligation. And so he tries to be all things to all people so that he can win as many people as possible for Christ. Both St. Paul and Jesus understand that they have a mission to proclaim the gospel. We often think of preaching as a ministry reserved to a few people. We think of preaching as what happens at Mass, what, what I'm doing right now. But the command to preach the gospel to the whole world is addressed to all of us who are here this morning. And so all of us, through our baptism, have been sent to proclaim the gospel just as Jesus and Paul were, did. And so while I preach the gospel week after week from a pulpit, you preach the gospel every day by your lives, by what you say and do to the people who come into your lives every day. You see, the gospel can be preached in many different ways. Sometimes we use words. But the best, best preaching is the sermon of our lives, what we do, how we live proclaims the gospel more powerfully than any sermon that I could ever preach from this pulpit. How we interact with people, what we do, what we don't do, all of that proclaims the gospel. St. Francis, the patron of this parish, once said, Preach the gospel always, and if necessary, if necessary, use words. St. Francis understood that the most powerful sermon is the sermon of our lives. In today's first reading, Job says that our earthly life can be a drudgery, drudgery. And indeed it is if we do not know Christ, if we do not know the gospel. 
That is why our mission is to give people whose lives is a drudgery the hope and the joy that comes from the gospel, the hope that comes from resurrection life. What kind of a preacher of the gospel are you? How do you preach the gospel by your life and your works? Is your life a sermon that proclaims Christ? Is your own life a sermon that helps to free people from the drudgery of pain and pain of sin and death? This week, you have another sermon to prepare, another sermon to deliver. Proclaim your sermon well. Preach to all the people you will meet by the example of your life and by the strength of your faith. And if necessary, if necessary, use words.